Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, oh. Still ain't go. Boy! <laughs> what do you think this is? Yes, sir! I'm too good! <laughs> Should you play First Strike Echo? I mean, I'm about to show you. I mean, while this clown re plays in the background, like what's really going on here at level one? Anyways, I'm about to show you and tell you why you should try First Strike, but I'm also gonna use some, you know, some, some pros and cons, because there's definitely, there's definitely some cons to taking First Strike. So the pros, right? Uh, you're gonna scale faster because you're getting money at all stages. You're trading early game, you're trading late game, and your trades late game give you a lot of gold. Inspiration tree itself is just it's just better. Like futures market is really good, time over time is good, and the free boost good. And then lastly, it's just I mean quite simply like I'm just trying to make money. It's that simple. <laughs> now let's talk about the cons because there's like you know there's a couple of them you know what I'm saying. So first off. There's less damage at all stages, honestly. Like, it's just weaker. But the rest of the gold, you know, goes in your pocket. So who really cares? My money, my pocket's stronger. The damage weaker, but my pocket's bigger, okay? It only it only procs in the first strike. If you get hit first, it goes out of cooldown. So just be faster, okay? And um, you're not going to get much money out of an early game. When you're doing your early game trades, you might get, like, 40 gold off a trade. But, uh, you know... The rest, of, like the rest of the game, you start making money. And I think the, I think the real con is that you're not about that money. I think that's the real con. You don't got that money mentality, like me. Okay, that's why I be taking first strike, cause I'm about that money. Okay. Quick mess. Okay, but the real con, as you probably just saw and read, was that first strike makes you a little bit greedy. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's this. This just comes with having a money mentality, like me. I'm trying to get that money by making those trades and you know sometimes it backfires but as you can see here it didn't so i'm going to show you on the side a comparison of you know an uh, electric cube game to a first strike game obviously it's not like the exact same timings but this is like the most similar timing i could i could find right so here you'll see first strike which was a really good game i got i did 2100 damage and i got 2200 gold Okay, that's a lot of money, that's a lot of damage. You know what I'm saying? And then the electric cube game, it was about four minutes shorter, but we did 2200 damage as well. Um, and we also had 12 kills, so we had two kills under. Um, but look at the gold discrepancy, you know what I'm saying? Like, we really just farmed these kids in the first strike game. And again, all that money is gonna be going in your pocket, right? So, in my opinion, it's okay to throw away a little bit of the early game sometimes um, just to secure that late game lead because this plus uh, futures market, that's an entire item, okay? Like, I think it's pretty lit. Uh, so you're gonna see here, I'm just gonna be talking about the game now. You're gonna see here, what you've probably been seeing this whole time, I'm not afraid to take these trades and try to get that early game gold. You probably should be because these trades are really, really bad. Like, one thing I can, I can see from looking at my own gameplay is I'm definitely making some very, very aggressive plays that are not working out and I'm not staying safe. You should definitely ward up, be a bit safe in your lane. Um, you never know which jungler is trying to camp you, you know what I'm saying? So over here, we are just trying to get that plate money. We're, we're trying to do something. We're just so broke. You see, I go for it again. My team is dying and I say, that's, it's a worthy sacrifice, okay? We have two plates off of this tower. Like, this is what we need to get back in the game. Okay, over here, we about to fight for Dragon, as you can see. I'm looking a little thirsty. My man is a bit low. I obviously don't want to do this play, but you know what? We have to fight for the Dragon. I take that one Slurpee Fruit, and it's just like, you know what? I feel revitalized. I think that's enough. I think I can do this. So we're about to start the fight. Mumu's looking in here for a pick. He's looking in for something. And this Aatrox hops over the wall. He starts engaging on us and is looking pretty bleak, but <laughs> Drake aside, just lands the fast stun and kills Morgana. And did you see that? 123 gold from first strike. And that's what you're gonna be getting. We only have a rocket belt and a dark seal. And that's 123 gold already. So um just wait until later in the game when we actually start farming. 
and over here we're able to get another kill and then uh so after you know making a decent amount of money bot lane we're doing pretty well we start moving up the top lane like this is the the portion of the game where you definitely want to split push i've had a lot of success bringing teleport in my recent games just to do this exact same thing and uh this aatrox right here um again with the one thing about first strike is anytime you see an enemy you just jump on them get gold that was not the clip the same clip twice i traded on him once i waited and i did it again in the next like 20 whatever seconds so we just got a total of like maybe 150 to 200 gold off of the aatrox and then we dove him and killed him right after and i sacrificed my <laughs> my jungler and left um so over here we get a we get a free kill and then we're looking for some more and look at the silas bro he has zanyas he has a mumu alt and i just get i So we're back up in the top lane. I think we were able to secure another Rift Herald. There was one earlier. And I, I don't think I showed it. Oops. Um, so our team's our team doesn't believe in the econ dream machine that is Drake's eye. But we're top lane. We pushed the first tower. We're gonna push the second wave with our OP wave clear, and we're gonna go for a tier two turret right here. And uh, with Rift Herald, this is easy. We just we just pocket that 550 plus 50 gold, and we go farm the jungle right after. Like this is what it means to be about that bread okay we on the money moves you want to late game especially you need to just be farming so you can get to that point where echoes actually a decent like a, not even a decent champion a champion in general okay so over here this is the first part of how we came back like i was able to steal a baron and uh you know after that we just get out we recall and we get that free 300 gold and the most important part is that they're not ramming uh <laughs> barren minions up our ass for the next three minutes so that's pretty good we're also able to uh, sell the dark seal and then we get our death cap early you might notice i don't have sorcery shoes and that's just because uh, with time warp tonic and free boots um it makes it so you know okay sorry i'm gonna pause did you see that 213 gold i killed this kaisa one shotter and we got a thousand gold shut down plus 213 from first strike and that's how much we're gonna be getting by having death cap rocket belt and nashers it's really not bad it gets better and this champion is bullshit anyways as i was saying um we sacrifice the pen and the extra movement speed just you know we just live off of the fact that we have 10 movement speed from free boots and we have corrupting potion picking with time or tonic so you know the movement speed is kind of there so at, on that last trade which was pretty dirty i won't lie we made 180 gold off of first strike okay are you are you taking in all the gold we're making here like first strike is really doing work i i don't think we had first strike up there i didn't really see it but um like it's making money we're at the point in the game where first strike is probably making us 200 to 300 gold per combo um and now look at this Kaisa. She's here to donate some more gold. She said, you know what, Dre? You're doing amazing. We, I, I just want to reward you real quick. And she gives the fat 1,000 shutdown. And that 1,000 damage translated to 100 more gold from first strike. Like, what's, what's there not to love? Um, after this, these guys overstay even longer. Like, I actually don't know what these guys are doing. And we're able to get another kill on Morgana as our Caitlyn finishes off the Silas. And then we get the Chemtech, sorry, the Chemtech Dragon. Like, we're actually in this game, sort of, you know what I'm saying? So, we finish this off, and we head to base, and I won't lie, this might be the reason why, like, we, I th we were waiting, I don't know, man. Like, we had an Euler in the chat, he gifted five subs, he gifted six subs, and then we had somebody else sub right after, like, did I tell? Did I not tell you? First strike is uh, is, is for the money moves. Okay, we, we took first strike, and then we, we literally made money in person, like, it's just the synergy you guys you guys don't understand what i'm thinking bro just you need to take first strike <laughs> look at this get that money i got like let's just got that money just like i do because i first strike and just like you will after having first strike. anyways we're at the baron again and we kill this morgana get some money out first strike 191 and we go to the alternate baron wall hop steel location they don't know about it but you would if you watch the combo and wall hop guide that I'm gonna put in the top right corner. So unfortunately, I already ulted out, but we go back in because you know what? It actually looks kind of winnable. So we go in, we rocket belt, kill that Kaisa, and I think I just first striked her as well. We got 65 gold. Like it just doesn't stop feeding us. So we teleport top lane, and um, 
instead of even recalling, I think we could have recalled first and then uh, hit that TP. But we, we just destroy the tower and we annihilate the inhibitor. And then this this guy Kane, he's just so nice. He comes and donates some more gold. Like, look at that. 218 gold and 300 on top of this. It's just like, we just made so much money. We're already full build. Nobody thought we were going to do this. Nobody thought we were going to get here. And then SJ0 drops another gifted sub. Like, I'm trying to tell you, bro. You need to take first strike so you can make that money. Oh, my goodness. So we go to the tower and we start one-shotting it because we're full build. We have Banshee's last. We bought a, uh, a blue elixir just so we could two-tap the towers, as you can see. And the Banshee's was... I'm just traumatized, bro. Like, you know how many times I got a combo by the Silas? I just, I, I bought Banshees. I had to. Like, it was for my mental health. Like, th this game was already taxing enough thinking we were going to lose it. How many times people tried to FF? And now, you know, I'm sorry. So, this Kane comes through and he <laughs> he donates even more. Do you see that? 400, 398 gold? Like, what? 398 gold. Like, I'm full built. I don't need any more gold. So, it really doesn't matter at this point. But that's a lot of money. Like, that's a lot of money. Um, but yeah, at this point, we're, we're, we already won the game. Like, we were able to stick it out. The first strike kind of scaled us into the late game, and we were able to just hyper-carry it. 